Birmingham boasts a massive sporting history. Modern tennis was developed here and the English Football League was founded by a Brummie. But for one week every year, badminton takes top billing and this is the stage where it's all played out, the magnificent Utilita Arena. Welcome to the All England Championships for 2024, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. It is one of the biggest events of the year, and so too are the World Tour Finals. That's what they'll be playing for. And there's Keshavi Pusvawala, technical official, bringing in the trophy. We thank her, and we hope that you will join us for coverage of that tournament. Just before Christmas, huge prize money, massive prestige. Genuine superstars of the women's game making their way onto our show court for the first action on day two of this All England Championships. Okahara versus Taizu Ying. They know each other very, very well. It's 8 6 on the head to head in Taizu Ying's favour. There you see it. She has won the last two, most recently here at the All England in a quarter-final two years ago. Both these women hugely popular. I suspect, just judging from yesterday, where the Chinese Taipei players got massive support, that Taizu Ying will be the favourite amongst the crowd, but we'll see. In the meantime, let's give you some information about the, this pair. Starting off with Okahara, who is the birthday girl. She's 29 today, so we send her birthday greetings. Bronze medalist of 2016. And uh, she joined the national team when she was just 15 years of age. She's a junior bronze medalist, world champion in 2017. Beat PV Sindo to win the title. Actually, seven world tour titles, including the All England twice, 2016 and 2021. And she's found a bit of form this year as well. She reached the Indonesia Masters final in January. Lost to uh, Wang Zi Yi. That was a Super 500. Other side of the net, Tai Zi Yin also 29 years of age. Became world number one at 22, would you believe? Spent 214 weeks at number one. That is still a record. 
Olympic silver in Tokyo, where she lost the final to Chen Yufei. Wonderful to watch, so attacking, unpredictable, and that kind of lazy, relaxed hitting style, which she's so known for. 17 World Tour titles, including this one, four years ago. My name's Trevor Harris, alongside me is Olympic medalist Chris Lambridge. I'm looking forward to this, Chris, when I saw the, the uh, order of play draw came out yesterday, I'm thinking, what a great way to start with these two superstars of the women's game. Yeah, definitely, and Tysa Ying last week, I was lucky enough to watch quite a few of her games, and she was she was incredible last week, and it's going to be interesting if she can carry that form on, and as you said, Fokuhara, she's starting to hit some form now, so can she continue that form against, Ready you know, one of the play. very, very best in the world? Jakob Simberg from Denmark, who will be our chair umpire for this opener. And he'll be supported by Dominic Cadera of England in the service judges' chair. Line judge, wipe the court, please. Obviously, still Olympic qualifying points on offer. That's what makes this tournament so massive. It's the last Super 1000 before qualification closes. And the prize money is huge as well. 91,000 US dollars for the singles winner. Both the men and women pick up the same, of course, on Sunday. Stand by then for the umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Nosomi Okuhara, Japan. And on my left, Tai Tzu Ying, Chinese Taipei. That kind of reaction everywhere she goes. Tai Tzu Ying to serve. Love all. Play. Hi. Here we go then. First shuttle. Hitting anger on day two of these championships. The head to head's pretty Two. close. I don't think there's any any kind of inferiority complex here either woman. It's just a case of mutual respect. She's just carrying on the form from last week. Um, Three, I think it must no. have been a tough-ish week for her, just in regards to being 2016 up in that semi-final against Anse Young. And it wasn't that she threw it away, it was Anse Young managed to find a way to claw it back. But I do think, which sounds a strange comment, but Tai Young was the best player last week, but she, she didn't manage to win the tournament. But she can continue that form this week, it could be quite different. And the start she's had against Okahura so far has been very impressive. Interesting when you look at Okahara, obviously back in 2016, winning the All England in 2021. And as of late, the biggest 
issues been? Just the injuries. She struggled a lot to get herself fit and consistently fit. She had a lot of injuries that's plagued her over the Four, last kind one. of 12, almost 18 months. And only now is she finding the solution and she's in a really good kind of good run of form. Well, the problem is, is, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, Chris, the older you get, Two, the longer four. it takes you to recover when you do get a knock. And so both these women are 29. Mentioned Okahara got to the Indonesian Masters final in January. Taizu Ying won the India Open in January. Off the back of winning the World Tour finals last December. Five. Two. Yeah, and I think the, the thing for Okahara has been the issue is she's got injured and then she's just struggled to find her form. It's taken her quite a long time to get back to that level, but it, I do think sometimes it's even harder when you have achieved the phenomenal success that she has to then find the, the solution to getting back to as good as she was. Service over. Three, five. You, it will test your fitness, Four, the way she drags five. you all over the court. Yeah, and I think one of Okahura's um, main attributes is definitely the physical prowess that she has, her speed and agility and movement around the court, and this is why, for me, I think maybe it's taken a little bit longer just because with these injuries she's had, it's been harder to come back. Some of the other players that maybe have a bit more creativity or um, shots, you could call it. it, it could take them less time, but... Okahura, but it's amazing to see her back to similar form from the past where she's been one of the best in the world. Service over. Six, four. Yeah, she did win the uh, side Modi last year, towards the end of last year in uh, India. Okahara. You see for 300, but just was a statement of intent. We're going to get Seven, entertaining four. badminton from these two. It's well, only six minutes in. Been a really good watch. Seeing read it perfectly there. She had kind of an open court to into, just slightly snatched at it. That's phenomenal. And this is what we saw last week, the skill level needed to play that shot. And this is the thing, I get a coach players of all different levels and players like that is phenomenal, the skill needed and players want to try and recreate that. You can't recreate that. You know, only the, the very few special players in the world can play that shot. Yeah, go and do a... Croif turn, go and chip like Tiger Woods, whatever. Six, it's a very eight. exclusive club that has that kind of talent and that kind of skill. And it's uh, brilliant to watch. That time, though, Okahara... Uh, Okahara a bit too much for her. And she's uh, still well in touch in this opening game. Read that incredible. Five, Obviously, the quality of her six, first overhead was good, and because it was good enough, she could just chase forward, and then even the last shot made it look easy. Cross net's never easy. Bit 
bit of a bonus point there for Tai Ji Ying. She did brilliantly to kind of adjust her racket, adjust her hands in the middle of that point. Kept the shuttle alive and in the end forced the error. This is a tough thing for Kahura at the moment. I said, you know, she's coming into form. She had a good end to the year, winning the third Modi International and the Adisha Masters, which are two tournaments held in India. And then this year, great start with getting to the final of the Indonesian Masters. This isn't what she'd want in a draw, the All England. So a five-point lead for Tai Su Ying at the mid-game interval. Not really satisfactory from her perspective so far. Not just the scoreline, but she's carrying on the way she left off in Paris. Only four and a half months to go until the Olympics. It, it sneaks up on you. Of course, only three years since the last games because of the year delay to the Tokyo Olympics. She would love to go one better, Tai Ji Ying, than, than the silver that she won in Japan. So, Wakahara playing catch up here. Service over. 7 11. Lovely hold there from Okahara, just held it long enough to make it deceptive. She could see where her opponent, Tai Su Ying, was moving. And she put it in another corner. 12-8. Difficult thing for Kahura is she's having kind of a, a tussle with Aya Ahori in regards to the second spot for Japan to try and qualify for Olympics. And last week they played each other and Okahura uh, well, unfortunately didn't progress. She lost to her teammate and now it's 13, tough because she's 7,000 points behind. So this is kind of more of a pressure game than it should be because it's such a big tournament, big points needing to win in the form Tai Su Ying's in, that is a massive, massive challenge. Out. Solid lead, 14, not followed a wonderful eight. piece of deception on the previous point, the almost trademark Tai Su Ying shot. As Tai Zhu Ying has played in this opening game, there have been several Okahara unforced errors. Which you just can't afford against the world number three. Service over. And I think this is the hard thing Nine, when you play Tai Zhu Ying, because you know if your shot quality is not very good, you're in trouble. Just because you give Tai Zhu Ying half a chance and she has all the creativity, she's got all the shots and she can kind of almost place the shuttle on the court wherever she wants. Just like that. Service over. 16-9. Don't know what the opposite of the commentator's curse is, but that was it. <laughs> Bang on cue. Tight.
service over. Ten sixteen. So first challenge of the morning, each player has two per game, and if they are correct, they keep the challenge. Not sure how confident Okahara is that this did clip the line. Not very would be the answer. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Service over. 17, 10, play. Service over. 11, 17. That was out by over. a long way. It really was a big misjudgment by the Japanese. When she's playing like this, Tai Yun makes difficult shots look ridiculously easy. And she's got herself nine 20, chances here to take out the first 11. game. Yeah, and since changing the shot and getting the new shot, I think Okahura's not quite found her length. Three simple mistakes, one out of the side, two out the back. Well, steamroller, really. Tai Su Yin, Okahara will be very disappointed, but the world number three in only 16 minutes has the first game in the bag, 21 points to 11. Just looking at Okahara during that mid uh, or game break, looked a little dispirited to me. I mean, understandably, after losing the first game 21 11, which just looked a, a little morose. Yeah, but you, you know, you do see this because when you play Tyson Yang, what do you do? And this is the thing the way Tyson Yang plays, she takes the game on, it's kind of in her hands, she wins or loses rather than allowing her opponents to play. And, and this is why sometimes, you know, I saw last week she played incredibly good players and she made them look OK, just because she was that good. And, and it's hard when you're out there, you, you, you kind of force it. You try more because you think, well, I'm not winning. I'm not winning the point. I've got my opponent kind of dictating the rally. What do I do? Right, I need to go tighter. I need to go more accurate. But by doing that, like she's doing, she's... Oh, she's just letting them alone. Sorry, I thought that was out. I was going to say, you know, she's just making these cheaper mistakes and accidentally gifting her opponent the point and making it even easier. And it's... It's this fine line between being proactive and being passive. And, you know, Okahara, she can't just allow to rally because Tai Su just too good. If you give Tai Su time, she literally can put the shuttle wherever she wants. Two, one. 
absolutely imperative, you feel, that Okahara makes a, a decent start in this second game. If he falls behind by any kind of margin, it might be Kearns. Three, one. This is the thing, she's put... She's scored three points, and two of them she's put plum on the line. So she's had a very good start, but can she keep up this phenomenal accuracy? Seven, seven, seven. And that's the thing, you know, she's having to play almost on a knife two, edge. Three. And this is where it's so hard to maintain that incredible accuracy of shot. It's interesting that you know the journey, the story of Tai Su Ying and her coach Lai Chen Cheng, um, being her sparring partner to start with, and then after a duration becoming a coach, and after two years being a coach, getting her to world number one. I mean, it's kind of a, almost a movie in itself, kind of this phenomenal story. The only coaching job that he's had, and coaching one of the greatest female singles players for the last ten years. Four, three. That's sublime. I mean, the quality of that shot. Okahara is quite a fast, agile player, and obviously she was nowhere near it, but. If you see this in slow-mo, see how sharp that is? As in, it's a net cord and almost on the line. I'm going to be honest, if I tried to throw that, I don't think I could. No, and you couldn't throw it from being close to the net. Ridiculous shot. And this is what I mean. And this is why you, Okahara, she, she, has, she knows she has to take the game on, but the difficult thing is you take the game on and you force these mistakes, but if you don't take the game on, it just escapes from you. It's reiterate, just changed the scoreline, it is 6-3. Pressure, you don't get the breaks. Nothing at all she could do about it. Uh, you can see that like, her obviously at full stretch on the lift, and the, when she does the lift, her lift's quite short to the front service line, which gives Tyson all the time and the options. And again, this is brilliant, but this is the thing. It was the same last week, and I you know, kind of ran out of Eight, nice words to say about Tyson because it was so exceptional. And it's how do you stop this? And it only it, there's only one player in the world at the moment that can. And that is Anse Young. Just the wrong side. Seven, I don't seven. think that uh, Okahara would have got there, Four, but it landed wide. With Tai Su Ying, her, her most recent matches, last 19 matches, she's lost three times. And those three are all to one player, which is Anse Young. Thing, almost every rally, Okahara, she's chasing. She's behind Nine, half a step, and it's, it's because of the variation that Tai Su Ying has, the shot quality that she has here. Even that's deceptive, but we can't see it in a slow-mo. That's why Okahara can get it. Just a fraction. <laughs> but again, Okahara will be nowhere Six. near it. Nine.
think that was good. Service over. No, just, Ten, just out. Six. Let's have a look. Yeah. Eleven, six. Well, it seems like in the blink of an eye, uh, they go to the mid-game break with Tizing in five points ahead and seemingly just cruising into the uh, round of 16 here. Only, what's that, 24 minutes to this point. qualifying is you know it's even bigger than it normally is just because it's the last kind of big big super 1000 tournament before Olympic qualifying ends and matches like this is so crucial for you know it is it's for both players Tyson Ying obviously she should qualify you know she something bananas would have to happen for her to not but she you know she wants to be one of the top four seeds at the Olympics she's got to stay in the top four and it's her last year to try and win the All England it would be an incredible thing for her and see if her to qualify for Olympics Back in 2016, she won a bronze medal, and now the challenge is, can she 13, qualify? Seven. Expression of resignation on Okahara's face. Service over. 10, 14. Just a few mistakes sneaking in for Tyson Ying in there. It didn't have to be as tight as she had. Okahara at full stretch. Someone like Anse Young, the, the reason she has such a good head-to-head -head against Tai Su Ying is her defense, you know. She almost frustrates Tai Su Ying with the amount she gets back. She's such a well-rounded player, uh, Anse Young, in regards to her defense, her maturity, her shot selection. She doesn't take any risks. It's so hard to kind of neutralize Tai Su Ying and con contain her because she's got so much Creativity, her shot selection is so varied. So hard to read what she's going to do. Well, the second game following a very similar pattern to the first. I've seen in the past some of Tai Su Ying's matches where she's thrown in kind of little moments of non concentration where she'll 
to squander four or five points quite quickly. But it's not happening here. She's shown absolutely 11, no mercy to her. Yeah, I think that's kind of the other side to the story. When you're as creative and as um, almost flamboyant as Tai Su Ying, you are going to get a few more mistakes. It kind of comes hand in hand because, you know, she can do stuff no one else can do. And the, the kind of the downside 12, of that is sometimes 17. you'll get it slightly wrong because it's so complex. You know, we're talking about in a situation being able to hit eight different shots, whereas most players can hit two or three. And the downside of that is you will make mistakes, but. You know, the way she's been playing recently, it doesn't matter if she makes a few mistakes because there's so much good stuff to counterbalance the few mistakes. Well, that's one of the best shots she's played. 13-17. Still in there fighting. Yeah, this play to perfection, really accurate, smash down the line. I haven't seen enough of it from Okahura, because she hasn't really been given that chance. Service over. 18-13. 19 <laughs> Lovely as well, 15, moment of magic for Okahura. Brilliant, brilliant shot. Incredibly accurate where the gap was. Just a little too late in the game. points 20, for the number three seat. 15. Slice, 16, lovely shot, and this is the thing, 20, the last little bit of the game, we've seen some, you know, some phenomenal play from Okahora, but I feel it's only started in the last six points. Well, it's almost been an exhibition at times. 21-16, it finishes in the second game. They've only been on court for 32 minutes. And Tai Su Ying with a wonderful all-round display, hugely entertaining as ever, and just far too good for the Zoli Okahara. be quite a nice feeling to have your day's work done by just after 10 30 in the morning and we'll see her again tomorrow in the round of 16 she wins 21 11 21 16 in barely half an hour on court final error from Okahara might have challenged that actually but I guess she thought probably not worth the uh, aggravation in the match situation as it was
What a warm welcome back to Birmingham, England's second city. About 100 miles north of the capital, London, if you're not from these parts. Actually, the first manufacturing town in the world, they called themselves in Birmingham in the late 1700s. Invented the steam engine, among other things. Well, full head of steam for Tai Zhu Ying already, as we've seen, and we move on to the mixed doubles. And a match between Yi Hongwei and Li Chieshin of Chinese Taipei. And the world champs from Korea, Xiu 